welcome 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 back to my channel today i will be bringing you a hot press i will be pressing my granddaughter's hair we just shampooed and blow dried it gave her a nice blow dry so now we're going to press it right on out always section the hair when you want to press the hair makes it easier to manage what I'm doing is sectioning it in four the parts does not have to be bone straight as long as you're able to do what you need to do and get four sections all right here we have it I did start a few passes in the back that's because she's little it's the first time and she really don't hold her head down that much. So um, when I'm spraying, this is what I'm using. It's a heat protectant. I spray that on her hair. And I comb it through. Now when I make the passes, I'm not looking to get her hair bone straight. Just manageable, as you say. I just want it manageable. Because she wants to wear a ponytail. So I just want it manageable. You just hold. Use the back of the comb does the pressing and you just come on down what's your demo see she's trying to look in the camera so you hold the comb the back of the comb is what does the pressing and you just hold it three passes is all you need There you have it. I'm going to turn her head a little bit so you can see again. Because she's looking and she won't turn. So, again, I spray the heat protectant. I comb. Comb it through. I take my hot comb. It's smoky hot. You want to make sure that you rub it down. And you do this because if it's too, too hot, it will burn the paper. So, this is why you do a white, white cloth. Her section right here is pretty big. Turn your hand my mom. It's pretty big. So we just break it off like that and do a part of it. Remember, the back of the comb is what does the back of the comb is what does the pressing. You put it in, you hold it down, and you pull down. Slowly. Again, get down, my mom. Three passes is all I need. I'm going to show you again. And just get the hair right where I need to do. Her ends need to be clipped, so I need to press the hair out to do what I need to do. You cannot clip the ends if the hair is not straight enough because you won't get a, a nice cut. Again, put the comb in. Use the back of the comb, and you use it to come on down slowly. Again, and I'm going to go one more time. There you have it. I part off, and again, use the heat protectant, spray the hair. I'm going to comb it through. There's a wide section. And when you're doing a hard, hard press, you're definitely taking smaller sections. Like I'm taking it, my sections is about an inch, maybe. Basically, you take very small sections. If you can see what I'm doing, see how small that is? When you want to press somebody here, get a nice, strong press, you take a small, thin section like this. This, if you go all through the head, give you a nice hard press but I'm not looking to do that for her I'm just looking to just press the hair just enough where we can pull it we pulling it out to clip the ends and wear a ponytail
three passes. Turn your head this way. Again, hold your head tight. And you want to definitely to have your client hold their head taut, taut, basically tight up front. You don't want them moving their head back when you comb back. Why is a hot comb? If they do so, they can push their head back into the comb. So that's why you see me always pushing her hair up. Yes, pushing it up. And that's what you have to do sometimes. You have to make sure you push the head up. All right, I did the other sections. I'm spray some on my hand and I come around her edges right here. As you see, when you're dealing with kids, they tend to go to sleep. So you have to be very cautious and mindful of what you're doing and how their head is bopping. This is why she's not getting a hard press, but she's getting a press. And because she's falling asleep, Right here, what I do is tend to do the ends first, just a little bit, so that it's not so kinky a little bit, coily on the end to get me, to get her pulling towards me. If you watch my fingers, I'm still getting it, but I take part of my hand to hold her head. Pay attention to this finger right here. I use the back of the comb to press, and my hand is the weight of her head just in case she was to fall into the comb. Pressing hair is something that you have to take your time to do. You can't do it fast, and you have to be mindful of your clients that you're using and you're doing, especially when you're dealing with kids. But basically, it's easy if you haven't made a head back. This way, you ain't got to worry about the head falling and, and moving into the comb. And even with her hair laid back, I'm still able to achieve the desired style. At least with her head laid back on the chair, it was stable. Again. You see how I automatically take my finger and I push it against. See? This finger right here. I push it against her head when I'm going to. And this is why when you're doing kids, you don't do no teeny little parting because they don't sit that long. Basically, you want to make the hair just manageable so it's not so uh, rough. And then you can get the desired style that you're looking for. And the reason why you see the smoke is because of the heat protector that I've sprayed on the hair. I also, when I use this heat protector, I use it to blow dry our hair. And I also use it as a detangler because the heat protector is also a detangler and see once you go over your section you basically just go through and this is how, how I touch her edges real quick so you want to make the hair manageable compared to the, you know what I mean Just wait for them to do what they do. Because I'm not taking it slowly through, you see me making more than one pass because I don't have the comb there going slow because of the movement. So I still want to get it 
manageable straight compared to if I just sit the comb and glide through the hair slowly like this. Then in that note, I only need to make three of these passes this slow. See, she pulls off. And this is why you just automatically just go this way. Still getting the desired style that you want. You're just being mindful of what she's doing. Again, the product that I'm using. As you see, is a heat protector and a detangler. And there you have it. Here is manageable. Now I'm going to clip her ends. Because even at this age, you should still clip your baby's ends. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot. But I, I've been doing that for her um, for the last two years, maybe three. And it's been growing. I laid your baby. You got to... Wake up, Mama, so Mama can clip your hands, okay? And sit up for me for a minute so I can level out the edges. Okay, stand up. On your knees, right there. There you go, on your knees. Get up, just like that. So you have them get up on their knees because she's short. And then calm it down. And I just want to make sure that I go in. I'm going to start in the back. Get it straight, okay? Get it straight. Come around to the front so you can see I'm not clipping that much. I pull it down. And you see how much is there? Can you see? Not that much. But I'm not going to take all that off. Just make it even. Sit back down, baby. See, coming around the edges, I didn't, I didn't um, take off that much.
Now, some people might not like the way I clip ins, but it gets the job done. Everybody to each their own. There's nothing written in stone the way stuff should be. As long as you do what you need to do, you make what's work for you. It depends on the client and who you're servicing. When you're servicing kids, you have to be able to go in and get the job done. Because they they not sitting all day. I put the scissors in the comb down and I brush. Basically, when I brush down, brush any hair that's sitting on top of here. As you see, I pull to the back, to the front. Everything looks good. I pull over to the side. And I double check that way. Any little stragglies I have to the side, I just take them off also. See it there, Mama? Just comb this way to the back. Because when you trim ends, and that's what I'm doing, trimming ends. I'm not giving her no cut. Some people don't know the difference. Because everybody's swept down, you got damaged hair, and they just want to take it all off. One thing for sure, two things for certain. Your hair is going to always be uneven. Always. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Why? Because one side is going to always be thicker than the other, the other, and one side going to be thinner than the other. Because you favor one side more so than the other. You sleep on one side more often. You scratch on one side more often. So this is why we always going to have a part of our hair shorter than the other. Everybody go to the line, and everybody always trying to get their ends even. It's never going to stay even. Every time you go back, they're going to always need to clip it off again. So, and I said, that when I do on that side, I come over and I do on this side. And this is how I've been trimming her hair for the last two, maybe three years. I'm just five now. So, I started trimming her hair when she was like three. And it's been growing. Um, it grows more so when she's with me. <laughs> but her mom, her mom doesn't put a lot of oil in her hair. And I try to explain to her that she has to keep it greased, keep her hair oil so that it will continue to grow. Because it's hard for your hair to grow if it's not, don't have no moisture. You can't grow on dry hair. It grows, but it grows very slow. So. Let's 
the same thing. I come over here. If you can see through the hair, then that means that's that part of the hair that needs to come off. And not just that. When you clip your kids' ends on a regular, it allows their hair not to be so kinky. Because when you shampoo it, if you notice your kids' hair draw up real bad, but when you try to comb it, it's really like kinky like. And that's because the ends need to be clipped. Like the hair needs to grow, it needs to move. Something needs to be pushed off and out the way. See? And there we have it. See, I'm combing through her hair with this comb. And you don't see her hollering nothing. So basically the hot press is basically what it is. And I use the stove hot press as you see and here we have it and see all I'm doing now is again I'm gonna spray the tip of her ends where I clipped her ends at and I'm gonna run the comb through them because when you clip the ends then you run the comb through it afterwards they just allow a nice little smooth groove you type. I'm not individually doing it, just taking a stack and just coming through it. Compared to it look bally, compared to it's more straighter. Mind you, the smoke that you see is because I spray the heat protectant on it. And I'm just coming through the ends. And I always got to be mindful of what the kids do. comb the product through when I spray it and I just hit the ends real quick. Nice little press for Elijah. Now what I'm going to do is go back here and I'm going to scale her scalp. When you scale the scalp, you don't want to dig because she has some dry patches. I see when I was part through it. You just want to take the comb and you just want to do this. Basically, I'm lifting it up. And that's how you scale the scalp. So I'll go back there off camera and do that. I gave you a little taste of how to scale the scalp. So thanks for watching. All those that know me, hit that click like button. For those that don't know me, please subscribe. Because this channel is about the life of us. Why I say us? Because you, I, she, he, we, we all have some type of, ch some type. <laughs> we all have children aunts, uncles, sisters, and you know, it's always something that I try to bring to everybody so that you can see how to do something for someone. You may not like my technique, okay, but you can always, the thing about this channel is I may not do something to your liking, but you can always take what I do 
and implement to what you do and make your craft better. Okay? Basically, I just get on here and I do things quickly and I just go through. Um, my thing is, yes, I don't stay and try to spend many hours doing it, but I just want to go through and show you the basic. Boom. Once you got the basic, you can go from there. Like when I do my little hats, the basic, putting them through. Even if I mess up, it's still just the basic. You can take what I do and work on it and then make it better. And this is about what it, this channel is about. Just make it your own and create your craft the way you need it and want it to be. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button. Bye.